In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, once again, as we awaken to a new day, we, we make that decision decision for prayer, a decision to be recollected, to bring ourselves fully to this moment. Decide to focus Seek ye first the kingdom of God, says the Lord. To put God in the the search for the kingdom, to put this this is the work that must be done. Put it in the first place. This stepping over to the new life, to, to, the, to the kingdom of heaven. To decide we just cry out for it. every grace we need today to live in that place of rest we pray for the grace of conversion the grace to to turn away from everything that is Is taking us from our freedom and peace. So we ask, come, O oh Holy Spirit, you who are our true strength. Without you, we can do nothing. So come now, take control, take possession of us. Come into our hearts and lift us up. In your sevenfold gift come, in your fortitude, your prudence, in your wisdom, in your understanding. In your temperance, self control. We need your grace, we need your strength and blessing. Teach us, guide us into the light. Lead us out of darkness into your wonderful light, the light of your love, the light of your truth. That it may bring us to the holy mountain, the mountain of God.
place of rest. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Melt me, mould me, fill me, use me. Work in and through me. Inspire me, guide me. May I wholly be yours today. May I submit my will and heart completely. May I stand upon faith. Through my faith, may I stand on the firm foundation. I will not be moved. I will and trust myself to the, the true rock of my salvation, the true safety, the true protection, that I may hold my life in its in truth. So that love may flow in me and through me, so that I may be an open vessel of grace for the world. So I turn to that strength, I turn to that love, the love that dismantles every fear, every anxiety. The love that is all embracing. Here lies my focus. So I so I become recollected now. This is this is my focusing to be recollected, to be collected, thoroughly collected. Let us practice now. Can be nothing else. All my being, my soul, my spirit, all together. I am now standing before you, Lord. You who are all ready here, always here. I become aware that I am in the presence of my God. I am standing before the Lord. 
on my feet, on my ha- with my hands and my my legs, everything is before him. My whole being, all of me. Just as we did yesterday, we're being decisive or we're learning how to just to renounce everything, all these distractions. We have to be completely available, completely handed over. We really do have to throw everything away that's So that I can be re- recollected, I can be collected. It's always the, the first step. And if you find yourself being distracted by something or things or thoughts or anything, emotions, feelings, memories of something that's happening in, in your life could be some somebody could be could have died or anything you have to let it go for this time so we ask ourselves again who who do I belong to this morning? Who is, who has me? truth is that our God wants all of us. He wants this intimacy. He wants to, he wants the whole of us. And you know, I either belong to God or I don't. You know, this is the the jump over the, the river into 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 God, into the kingdom. This is the step we're learning to take. It's it's not a half a step. It's a you know we can't live. We're, we so often live these two lives. We we've one leg in one river and one leg in the other, and you know it's it's killing us really because. We're getting tired of this prayer because it's it's like as if it's not working because we're, we're, we're frustrated that we can't let go completely. We're getting frustrated because it's not working. Our lives are still difficult or burdened. We're still not free. 
we're still sliding back. It's like we really haven't learned. To live with him. And it's not to get discouraged in this. You, you just say, I'm not I'm not giving up until I get there, until I reach this goal of I want to go to heaven. I want to go. I want to know myself. I belong to God. Our true home is in heaven, as Jesus said, and that's Jesus will bring us there. He will bring us to the Father. So we're really trying to discover what part of us is still in the world? What part is still because the world is there, the flesh, the devil. There's all these ways of of being caught. And all this stuff just surfaces. Who do I belong to? We're, we're just discovering ourselves. Don't try hard at all. It's just let God pick you up. It's God will, he does it. We just have to submit to him. He's well capable of doing everything. We just have to come to that realization. This, this is the first step. By just asking that question, who, who am I? Who, who am I today? Is it going to be different today? How often have we heard that word of Jesus, come to me, all you who labor, come to me, who are burdened, come to me, who are Come from your from your lack of faith. Come to the one who is who knows you. Come from your place of control and self seeking. from your lack of trust, from your lack of submission, come to the one who knows everything about you, who, who's watching over you. Come to the awareness of the one who knows when you sit down and when you rise up. Come and be aware of the one who is who knows all your ways, who who knows all that's happening in your life and is happening today and tomorrow. All this busyness that has suddenly exploded in front of you. But to surrender all of that, to renounce it and to come to the one To 
the one who created you, who the one who made you in his image. One whom you live in, move in and have your being in. Come to him who has chosen you, who has called you, who has set you apart. Who chose you by every hair in your head has been numbered, has been counted. He knows everything. I am your God. I who knit you together in your mother's womb. Brought you forth on the day you were born. I I who lavished, who lavished and poured out my love upon you, who is constant in his affection for you. You are mine simply because you are my child. I am your father. You've come from me and you are going to me. This is your journey, we're traveling. This is the meaning of your life, to live with me and for me. You were created for me, to rest in me. So let us turn to the one who is waiting. He wants to hold me and wants to lead me. He wants to he wants me to to be his child. Just to so that he can delight in me. Just enjoy this trust, enjoy this companionship. Can you see how intimate your God is, how loving? He wants to give you every desire of your heart. He wants to supply for all your needs. He shows us this love by sending us Jesus. Jesus is that, it's like that expression of how important I am to him. He desires to take away our our suffering, our sins. All these problems that we carry. So I can find this 
this peace now because I can bring everything to him, especially my my sins and all that evil, all those arguments with my family. I'm just tired of falling and it's I'm frustrated with myself. And yet the Lord says, it's come to me. It's OK. I will never stop forgiving you. I will never stop doing good for you. For you are my possession. You belong to me. You are my treasured possession. So bring to me everything. Give me every anxiety and everything you carry. Just throw it all at me. Throw it all out. Jesus, I give you my heart. Mold it according to your will. Have your way with me, Lord, today. I just surrender every fear now and all this, all these things that have come to surface that are pressurizing me, people and family. Everybody's reacting. But you are still there, calm in the boat. Quiet. I just feel how fragile I am and how disorientated I can become. Yet there you are, sound asleep. You're just trusting. You're there looking at your father. You're, you are peace. So I'm waking you up, Jesus. Do you not care that I am under so much pressure? All these things have happened. Or you don't, you do not care if we perish. This is how the disciples reacted. Do you, do you not care, Jesus? Are you not interested in what I'm going through here? How often have I said, do you not care about me, Lord? Do you not care? Such a wound for our lives when we let our hearts be terrified. Let us recognize the truth of God who, you know, as soon as he just wakes up after he, and he speaks to the elements, to the wind and the sea and
he just saves the, the disciples from all of that. He just reassures them. And all he has to say after everything is just, why are you afraid? Have you no faith? Why did you doubt me? Lord Jesus, this morning you are calling us to that faith again. You're calling us to believe in you. To believe is to just to come to you. To come to you and to trust in you for everything. You are my provider. And I just have to accept that word to you provide for all my needs. You delight in me. You give me every desire. You can do more for me than I can possibly imagine. For those who trust in you, everything is possible. Everything. This is my conversion. This is what Our Lady is all about. Coming to him. To choose what is the most important. Put God in the first place. So who do you belong to this morning? Do you, who is ruling your life today? It is Are you ready for that conversion? Do you have that courage to to really leave our fears and our old way of thinking and feeling and to live with him. He is here. He's always here waiting. He can't but be here. He's he's beside you. He's Even when you think he's not here. Even when you think you're alone. That he's not in your life. He he's always there. He's he's never left you. Actually, he's never never separated or distanced himself. He's constant there in his love for you. No matter what you think, no matter what we've done, this is what this is who God is. He's come to us. Let's just for this last moment just put our gaze on him. Just be aware of the light of his presence around you. It's just an awareness actually. 
awareness of 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 being loved that's what we're looking for love dismantles every fear said all you have to say is Jesus you are here you are in my boat the boat of my life no matter what is happening My faith begins when I know my need of you. I need your saving love, your salvation, your forgiveness, your strength. When I, when I become aware of this need, this is my faith coming alive. I, I can't live by myself. I'm not sufficient. I need you. Just invite Jesus in. Jesus, you're there knocking at my door, but I'm saying, come into my boat today, Lord. Come in. Invite Jesus into the boat of our lives. Just, just hand over. I'm handing over my fears to him, my, so that he can, he's the ruler of my fears. He's my Jesus, my Lord. My strength. Make all things new, Lord, all things good, even the bad things. You will use my life's situation now. You will transform everything. You will bring this serenity to my storm, my calm. You will speak to the elements. So let us take his word upon us. You must renounce yourself, deny yourself, take up your cross, Jesus said. That's what I'm doing. When I'm here with you, Jesus, I'm, I'm just embracing my cross. I'm just, I'm just finding the courage to embrace whatever storm is we're going through. I'm, I'm accepting it. The hardships of whatever is coming at me now, I'm abandoning it all. I'm letting it all go to you so that you can rule in me, your power and spirit. you of little faith why did you doubt me do not be afraid I am with you always 